Hi, Jason. This is number 17 on page 216. I want to go through this one with you to give you a model so that you can get your homework correct and then hopefully do well on Monday's quiz. So number 17 says baseball fans. 59% of men consider themselves professional baseball fans. You randomly select 10 men and ask each if he considers himself a professional baseball fan. Find the probability that the number who consider themselves baseball fans is A, exactly 8, B, at least 8, and C, less than 8. All right, on part A, or before we even get started, let's set up everything we know. We know that they talk to 10 men, so N is 10. Your P is the point fifty six. Oh, not point fifty six, fifty nine percent, so point five nine. All right, now what you need to know is that your Q is the complement event. So if P is fifty nine percent, Q is going to be forty one percent. P and Q always add to a hundred percent or to one if you're doing fractions. All right, um, well I noticed on your homework you're getting some other value for Q and I have no idea what that is. But just remember these are always going to be 100% when added together or one if you add the decimals together or one if you add two fractions together. Now the formula that we need is N C X P to the X, Q to the N minus X. Okay, so if we're going to do A, we need the probability of 8. So that's 10, C, 8, P to the 8th, and then Q to the n minus x. So that means I'm subtracting these two right here, which is two. Or you can look at it this way. These two numbers always add up to your n. All right, and then you can put that in your calculator. Part B, at least eight. That means eight or more, but of course we have to stay under um, 10 or less. So you can't go any higher than 10. So probability of eight plus nine plus 10. All right, so you already have the probability of eight because you found that in part A. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in my calculator real quick so I can write that down. 10 combination, let me see, it's gonna take me just a second to get it in my calculator. I don't have it worked out ahead of time, so bear with me. Okay, and then times 0.59 to the eighth. Okay, times 0.41 to the second. All right, so roughly 0.111. So I'm gonna add that in right here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and carry it out to six decimal places. So that would be an 070. All right, the probability of nine, 10 C nine, point five nine to the ninth, point four one, and then what do I add to nine to get 10? I add a one and then 10 C 10 for the probability of 10. 0.59 to the 10th, 0.41 to the zero. Again, these exponents have to add to 10. Okay, I'm gonna put these in my calculator real quick. 10 C nine times 0.59 to the ninth times 0.41 to the first. 
that is 0 0.111070 plus 0 0.035518 plus, and I'm going to do the next one, 10 combination 10, which is 1, times 0.59 to the 10th, and 0.41 to the 0 is the same as 1. So that comes out to be 0 0.005111. And I'm going to add those together. And I get um, about 0.152. Part C, um, let's see, it says less than eight. Now, these two events right here are complements. Greater than or equal to eight is exactly the opposite event of less than eight. Complements have to add to one. So I'm simply going to take one and subtract the answer I had before. And that's going to give me the answer to part C. So keep that in mind and you can use that rather than find the probability of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 added together. I hope this helps you out. Please keep in touch with me and let me know when you're struggling. Um, I'm just an email away. I'm happy to make videos for you. I'm happy, you know, happy to help you in any way that I can, but you have to communicate with me how that's going to be. Um, it's the best I can do for now, but please keep in touch. Thank you.